from the vintage setup from the LS4 with me. That's just a handful. I've got loads of boxes full of stuff like that, old wiring and stuff. But anyways, what you just saw is the result of an entire winter of hard work. And also this wouldn't have been possible without some firms. Here I just want to quickly highlight the instruments that have been implemented into the panel. Thank you very much Airstore for the air traffic display and the incredible air control display. Uh, which combines radio and altimeter and transponder and also the air traffic display in combination with FLARM um, which makes it possible to track traffic and climb rates and stuff like that. Also the biggest and most obvious change is gonna be the Seafly Open Vario. I mean, we started at the bottom with the ELEC and now we are here. Also the batteries are new from Airbud which will provide me with enough electricity. Both batteries are connected now and I'm gonna switch on the panel for the very first time. And don't be surprised, the Open Vario will boot in the wrong orientation um, when you start it for the very first time. And that's why we need to press escape when it's booting in order to change the settings. And now you press escape and you go to update and settings, you go to system settings and here is display rotation. We're going to portrait in 270 degree and the new setting is saved. We're pressing restart and here we go, it's in portrait now. If you're struggling yourself with the setup, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to get some tutorials up. And the first thing I want to change are the info boxes, because personally I prefer them in black. So what you need to do is to change to the cursor mode by pressing Fn and double click on the menu button and we go to config, go to system, go to look, screen layout and make sure the expert box is ticked and then you can see inverse info boxes and you select on and escape and I'm going to quit the whole thing and start And now we've got the black info boxes, which I think look really neat. Usually you need to use either this remote stick or the rotary module. I'm just gonna use a normal computer mouse, which you can connect by USB, same as you would do with the rotary module or with the remote stick. I'm gonna show you quickly. So here's the USB slot and you can use the mouse instead for now. Using the computer mouse, double click, go to config and system, see that's much faster. I always select that the trail scale is on and we want a detailed plane symbol. Makes it look much cooler. Contouring on. I really like it when you're flying in the mountains and the contouring is on. Yes. That's it. So much for the dry and non-flying stuff. Next time I'm gonna show you the panel and the interior, everything put together in one piece. We'll have some fun with the very first flight of the Libelle. Uh, and I hope we're gonna have some fun footage from my first flight with the LS4. Until then, see you next time. Bye.